I was born and bred in Lanarkshire and schooled in Lanarkshire and I live in Lanarkshire and at present if I crashed my car in the M74 at 3 o'clock in the morning, um, I'd have a choice of three hospitals to go to. But that's the standard of care that we'll be able to provide in all three hospitals five years from now isn't going to be good enough with the number of junior doctors and number of consultants we have. In the same way as a specialisation for cardiology, so some cardiologists do echocardiography, heart failure, some cardiologists will do pacemakers, others will do stents. It's the same with orthopaedics. So we've got orthopaedic surgeons that are already excellent at doing their type of orthopaedic surgery. And where we've got a trauma unit, then we'll be able to co-locate those experts. So it wouldn't matter which bone, where was broken, we'll have somebody in that unit that's expert at, at doing that. When I was a trainee, orthopaedic surgery was, was uh, relatively uh, inexpensive. But nowadays, if you go and see an orthopaedic surgeon, he's wearing a specialist suit, there's a specialist theatre, there's air filtration, there's even robotic uh, assistance already in Lanarkshire. And so we need to concentrate that so that that's available to our patients uh, every day, not just if you happen to be taken to a hospital where that specialist is there. When I speak to my colleagues in orthopaedic surgery across Lanarkshire, uh, I'm finding that the younger uh, consultants are enthusiastic to work in teams, they're looking forward to working in teams. When I speak to the registrars, we have a, a meeting we have at the Royal College and we're speaking to some of the orthopaedic registrars, they expect to work in these kind of centres in the future um, and uh, I think that's going to be the direction we'll take.